lot of stars. What's up, you guys? It's your girl. Not super early, it's like around 11 something, but we put it to the temple in Patea called the Sanctuary of Truth. It looks what that means? super cool so far. Yeah, this is our adventure for today. We're to talking about like, the meaning and everything on this little audio. There is much more to this little speakers this around us, so they're talking museum. about it. Through it is warmer today. Yesterday was like the perfect day in weather, and today it's a little warmer again. But yeah. we're back in our modest outfits <laughs> to go inside of the temple. And we had to pay to go inside of this one. But our Grab driver, like Uber, our Uber driver, was super nice. He gave us a discount to come in. So it's a good day so far. <laughs> to see nowadays if you're ready please fall in line show your ticket thank you everyone and enjoy your visit today all right this is everyone please have a seat first we have to wear helmets for because of the construction helmet game good afternoon everyone please have a seat first we'll wait for the others and then we will go all together <laughs> and then centimeter there which means the museum is 10 times bigger than this model so what we need to do here is we demonstrate here first all the artwork before we conduct the real work. So our museum is unique and different from other places because we did not use any concrete nails. However, later on inside, you will see some part that there are still some nails, but that part is not yet done. So they only use the nails to fix the wood together. But once the woods can hold on its own already, they will remove the nails and replace it with a wooden joint technique that I will show you over here. Okay, so everyone, just like what I've said, once the woods can hold on its own already, they will remove the nails and replace it with a wooden pin and a wooden wedge. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the So don't worry really after close the windows, wet, and doors. And the base, which is divided into three parts. So the first one is the plain base because it has so decoration on. So in this part, this is all five box plates. So in the past, they used what they have in the nature to create games. Like here, they use banana tree to create fake horse. Here, they use coconut shell to create a game. And this one is cockfighting. While from here, up to here, this is all related to the rice farmers. Because in the old days, most of Thai people are rice farmers. So from planting the rice, harvesting it, and praying for the rain. Okay, let's move on as well. Everyone here. So the lady and man's culture symbolizes our parents who gave us life, took care of us, and taught us how to become a good person. And that's the beginning of human life. If you look at the center up there, the ceiling, it symbolizes the whole universe. And the structure over here represents the Mother Earth, which provides us the food, accommodation, or shelter that we need. And behind, So this concludes our tour. We are all wrapped up. We just came outside of the Sanctuary of Truth and turned in our helmets. This place is absolutely amazing. Like basically went through the different seven elements and our tour guide Kim was amazing. She literally broke down everything and answered our questions and kept it positive the whole time. So I really loved it. Got all the details. And if you're ever in Thailand, once again, I recommend. Um, this is not a temple. This is actually a museum, but due to some Buddhist qualities um, being involved and in their work in here, they, that's why they ask you to dress modestly. So it's completely understandable. I absolutely love it. It's so 
cool to hear like a lot of the history because it's not just Thai they have a lot of influences from different cultures like Cambodia from China from just a lot of different places so it's just really cool to see it all together and all of its woodwork this whole building straight wood they don't have anything else in there like earlier in the video you could hear her say how they use nails but then once they are when they're in construction but once they have it put together they remove the nails and whatever they used whatever structure they used to hold the wood together that's the only thing holding it together so it's really cool inside you can see there's two different colors and on the outside but the older wood starts to change color over time we are next to the ocean sea salt is very harsh so that does affect it and they also treat it for termites so it's just a lot of different things that go into play when coming into uh, making sure that it stays in good condition and then all the newer work of course looks very pristine and bright in color and like that dark wood color but overall this is amazing it's all handcrafted it's just kind of mind-blowing so it was really cool to see in person but yes this is where I'm going to conclude the vlog this is everything that we're doing here in Pattaya and we're going to be heading back to Bangkok and then soon heading home don't feel the need to really record flying home but it is a long journey it's like 21 hours or so the girls are over here getting smoothies <laughs> so we're going to be concluding say bye y'all I'm ending the vlog Bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again in my next video.